Thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon to all of you. My name is Sister Avelina Temba. I'm a surgeon in Korogwe District Hospital. As you see the pointer there, the where is Korogwe is, is northern eastern part of Tanzania. And that uh, the sisters of the congregation, the congregation of our Lady of Usambara Mountains. And I have been eager and compassionate to patients since I was young. And when I was a nun, I showed the interest and the congregation allowed me and sponsored me to go for training in medical school and later in surgical school. I trained as a surgeon at Kilimanjaro Medical Center and I achieved self-confidence and I saw many cases uh, when I was uh, training in KCMC but there are also some challenges I faced like we had few consultants and sp supervisors and there was lack of some training tools uh, lack of material, drugs, and the equipment. And also, we had many patients in the hospital, so we had few time for studying. Back to Korogwe District Hospital. I worked there as a public hospital, but I also worked in faith-based hospital, St. Joseph Health Center in the congregation, the place where I live. So in the morning and afternoon, I had to work in the public hospital. And in the evening and during weekends, I work in St. Joseph Health Centers. It is a center which also has theater in it. You and work at yes, <laughs> at night and during weekend. So I treat not only general surgery, but I also treat urology cases, uh, gynecology, obs obstetric, pediatric, reconstructive surgery. But I refer some of the cases in the referral hospital, which are in KCMC, Moshi, and Dar es Salaam. I refer ENTI and uh, some of orthopedic cases. In the hospital, as I had been a medical officer in charge for 10 years in the hospital, and district medical officer also in the same hospital. And now I'm working as a surgeon, the only surgeon of the hospital. We have also one pediatrician who completed this year, and four medical doctors and four assistant medical officers and we work together as a team. We can see many patients and of different cases as I explained above. And I also receive uh, referral cases from the whole district and sometimes from nearby the district. Uh, <clears throat> I face some challenges on my work, especially I don't have other specialists to discuss about some of the cases and I have little time for studying because of working in two different hospitals and having many patients. I lack some of uh, surgical equipment and I don't have supervision and intervention with uh, other specialists and professors in my hospital who advises me and tell me what to do. But uh, uh, fortunately, we are having international hernia mission attending, coming to our hospital twice a year, and they do hernia repair using hernia mesh. And also, I have an uh, opportunity to attend High Dome Lutheran Hospital, where I met uh, these doctors of the world, including Dr. Matthias and other doctors, or there is another doctor who is in Haidom now, who has been intermediate through this process of coming here, Dr. Tom. So in Haidom Lutheran Hospital, 
I learned all these basic, basic surgical skills in orthopedics, burn care, contracture release, cleft lip and palate, all, and also I improved my presentation skills when I was there. So being with them, I find that I feel like coming back to school again. So there I am asked the questions by Dr. Matthias about the technique that they are using is jumping man technique, I'm imitating and showing it. So this is what I learned and improved there with the foreign surgeons. Uh, but also there is a limitation that I'm lacking some of the equipment that may be able to work with the skin grafting, external fixation and the cleft lip that I learned in High Dome Hospital. And I find to apply a new knowledge and skills, essential equipment, drugs and supplies should be available. Supervision, intervention, and teamwork is very vital for maintaining knowledge and skills. And without an eagerness to learn, training may be with no effective. Thank you very much.